Hello everyone, I'm Tom with Stock Navigators and this is the market update for Thursday of May 27, 2021. Uh, first, let's take a look on today's market. As you know, the market is continue to go higher with the support of a lot of small cap stock that rebound from the bottom uh, fishing. And uh, I will go to some chart on the, uh, the Russell 2000 index and then uh, we will uh, see some idea for bottom fishing stock and then after that I uh, will do a uh, market uh, analysis uh, for uh, tomorrow and then uh, we will see some of the stock that we have been looking at uh, during uh, the last week and Monday video so that we can see how they are doing okay so let's get started um, as you know that uh, um, the uh, the, the overall market is still uh, very bullish here, as you can see. If I'm looking at the uh, IWM, which is a main uh, uh, index for the Russell 2000 here, as you can see here, this uh, index, has, the stock has been bouncing back and forward. So right now, it seems like they are dancing into the uh, symmetrical tango here. Usually, uh, when they're able to do that, they will uh, tend to break out in the direction of the trend, which is the uptrend. So uh, they right now, they still continue to put it back up. That will test this resistance here. If they can clear this resistance here, they will continue to put it up to the upside. So uh, some stock in uh, this sector, that a lot of stock that they rebound from the bottom, but some of them I will pick up some of them so that you can take a look and then uh, to see what happened. Okay, so first of all, that the uh, uh, cannabis stock seems like they uh, after the big drop from uh, uh, the top here at the uh, about uh, nineteen dollar, they drop back to almost like six seven dollar here, and now they're able to rebound. So if they can clear this area here, the uh, uh, cannabis stock they be able to uh, push it back and go higher. So the next one is the. Um, uh, CLVR, that's another one here. So this one here, it, after the big drop from $19 down to uh, $8, they be able to find the support and they get to the buy zone. Now they be able to break out the uh, uh, trend line here, so the momentum it, uh, put it up to the upside. Uh, you you have been seeing lately a lot of small cap top they be able to break out very strong. So those tokens have been a big drop, so now people try to uh, put it up to the upside again. And the next one is the GE, also another one that they be able to get out of the triangle here. They will put strong momentum and very big volume today, so they will continue to the upside. And another uh, uh, NEO that talk a lot of people they get stuck in here, so it seems like finally they find some bottom here. So they're looking for a way to put it back up okay to the upside again um, then another one is the uh, they related to the, the airline etf so this one here after they pull back now they found strong support here now they back out pull back and now they continue to put it up to the upside okay so total so, so we have uh, right now i'm looking for some of them to give you some idea but many of them out there are uh, also on the way up also okay so so they'll talk and take a look and to see how they are doing and then uh, that will be a bottom fishing stock for the small cap stock and uh, it, it's a very cheap price and then they have a lot of momentum to put to the upside okay so um, as you know that trading is a very risky business it's not a get risk quick scheme you need to learn how to analyze and read the chart and be patient and using the right technical analysis and understand the market psychology so that you can get in and get out uh, uh, at, the, at the right time. You need to be in a community uh, so that each member will get support and mentor every day and get guiding every morning in our live trading room so that you can make some extra daily income and you can add any ticker symbol for swing trading and get answer to confirm your thinking before taking the trade. So this is the time for you to invest in your education so that you can survive in this volatile market. Now I'm going to do the market update. Uh, so, so far, as you can see that, so look at the, uh, the ES, uh, let's, let's take a look on the SBY. So SBY at the, the SB500, they uh, have been testing the uh, sales on here a couple of times. So the momentum is trying to put it up to the upside right now. 
So at the uh, 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 in the future, it also continue to rumble and get out of the uh, sell zone here at the first time here. So the momentum pick up to the upside. Okay, and look at the Nasdaq. It still uh, choppy today, but the overall it still find a way to push it back to the upside. And the Dow it also uh, continue to push it up to retest the sell zone uh, uh, on the top here again. So if you look at the crude oil, the crude oil is still continue to be able to punch to this level here, and now they find a way to put it up again. And gold it also uh, put it back up. They have been very bullish lately, but they hit to the first level of resistance, so they will pull back sideways a little bit before they can break this level and continue to the upside. And if you look at the uh, the Bitcoin, Bitcoin is still uh, a choppy in the sideways. So this one is the big head and shoulder pattern here, so they clear this one here. So the potential, they still continue to put it down before they can find support, and then uh, they will turn around. So uh, that's why it, you know you have to understand the chart. You know don't try to chase and buy on the top here. This one here, I wrote it for many, uh, you know, uh, since the beginning of April already. This is a sell zone. If you don't pay attention, now you have to wait for them to come back down before they can buy again. Okay, it will take a while for them to get back to the price here. So that's why don't listen to the news. Okay, trade what you see. And you need to how to understand how to read the chart. Now, um, uh, let's take a look on the Ethereum. Ethereum, but also uh, after the big drop here, they bow back up, but they hit a lot of resistance here. So they try to fill up the gap here, but it, it seems like it's a strong resistance here. So they will need to uh, uh, come back down again. Okay, so. You have to be patient, wait for the price to come to you before you uh, uh, start buying again. And uh, now let's take a look uh, on some of the stuff that I highlighted on the weekend, uh, last weekend, and well at Monday to see how they are doing. So first of all, the GDX, that the, uh, that the gold sector is still doing well, so they go up, they go sideways, okay, before they can get up again, so they, they fill up the foot gap here, so they go sideways a little bit before they can gain some more momentum. And the next one, it uh, just need it try to bottom out and put it back up also. And bull in that we highlight, it's still doing very well up to back out, continue to put it up. And uh, AMC, that's the one that we highlight, look at this one here. They get out with a cup handle, boom, they go from uh, $40, now it's straight up to 30 bucks, yet only three days, right? Unbelievable. So the stuff that people get back to the movie, I guess, so it's more demand right now. So the stuff that turned to the, the high scale, like like before the short free, so more people interested into this stuff right now. Okay, and the next one is the CV, uh, CVLT, that's another one that we highlight. This one here, the breakout, another cup with handle, boom, they go straight up. And uh, WAT, this one here, also uh, clear up and continue to the upside. WAT, uh, uh, and uh, EW, uh, okay, this one here, they go up, they hit to the sell zone, so they pull back down. They need to be able to buy here before they can start moving up again. And a lot of uh, cyber talk that we're talking about, the people's video, and you can see them, they have continued to get up to momentum to the upside there. BUG, that's another one here. It also try to put it back up. Uh, CWD, it's another one. It try to get through the resistance here. They will continue to the upside. LSCC, that's semiconductor, it also still uh, hang to the upside. LRCX, which is another semiconductor, it still continue to put it up. Okay, the semiconductor is still very strong. Okay, they are uh, one of the key components that will help the market to move higher also. So this one here, it try to put it up again. Okay, so this is some of the stuff that we highlight and then seem like it's still doing well right now. And beside this stuff, if you are busy working, you can subscribe to our Wall Street Premium Watchlist, 
where we handpick about four or uh, five stocks every week and analyze in detail with the entry, stop loss, and the target so that you can follow. So I hope that you enjoy my analysis. Please click the thumb up like button below. And thank you for watching. And um, uh, 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 by the way, so uh, we're going to have a long weekend. So, uh, so wish you have a good night, long weekend. And take care, everyone.